The 2025 HAL Tejas Mk-2. Please note, though, that the Tejas Mk-2 is an advanced fighter aircraft developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, not a car. It seems like you may have meant the fighter jet, but in case you intended a car named Tejas Mk-2, no such production model exists as of now. Assuming you meant the 2025 HAL Tejas Mk-2 fighter jet, here's a rich, balanced, 3,000-word explanatory and review-style script for a video. Dash dash dash. The story of the HAL Tejas Mk-2 is one steeped in ambition, national pride, and relentless innovation. When India first embarked on its light combat aircraft, or LCA, program in the 1980s, the goal was clear to create a homegrown fighter that could not only replace the aging MIG-21 fleet but also establish India as a capable player in the global aerospace industry. Fast forward to 2025, and the HAL Tejas Mk-2 represents not just an evolution of the original concept but a significant leap forward, one that promises to dramatically enhance the Indian Air Force's operational capabilities in a rapidly changing geopolitical landscape. Let's start with what makes the Tejas Mk-2 stand apart from its predecessor and the many other fighter platforms around the world. At its core, the Mk-2 is a medium-weight, single-engine, multirole combat aircraft designed to perform air superiority, ground attack, and reconnaissance missions. Compared to the original Tejas Mk-1 and Mk-1A, which themselves have seen progressive improvements and operational success, the Mk-2 has grown in size, power, and capability, effectively bridging the gap between light fighters and heavier, twin-engine aircraft in both performance and versatility. Visually, the Tejas Mk-2 carries forward the sharp, compact delta-wing design language of its forebears but with noticeable refinements. The fuselage is slightly elongated to accommodate more fuel and advanced avionics systems, while a redesigned air intake under the cockpit ensures better airflow and reduces radar cross-section. The addition of canards, those small, Forward-mounted control surfaces dramatically enhances the aircraft's agility, especially in close-quarters dogfighting scenarios and during high-angle of attack maneuvers. These canards, coupled with advanced fly-by-wire systems, grant the Mk-2 superb handling characteristics, giving pilots more confidence in the most demanding of aerial situations. Powering this new iteration is the General Electric F414 GINS-6 engine, a significant upgrade over the F-404 that powered earlier Tejas variants. This afterburning turbofan generates approximately 98 kilonewtons of thrust with afterburner engaged, providing the Mk-2 with enhanced speed, climb rate, and payload capacity. In layman's terms, it means the aircraft can go faster, ascend quicker, and carry a heavier combination of weapons and equipment than before crucial attributes for a modern multirole fighter expected to handle a broad spectrum of combat missions. When it comes to speed, the Tejas Mk-2 is capable of reaching a top speed of around Mach 1.8, which is about 2,200 km per hour at altitude. But sheer speed isn't its only virtue. The aircraft boasts an impressive combat range of over 1,500 km, and with in-flight refueling capability, it can stretch that operational envelope even further. This makes it an invaluable asset for not just defending Indian airspace but also for conducting deep strike missions into enemy territory when required. The Mk-2's avionics suite represents one of the most significant areas of advancement. Sitting at the heart of its combat capability is an active electronically scanned array AESA, radar, which provides superior tracking, targeting, and resistance to jamming compared to older mechanically scanned radars. This radar can track multiple air and ground targets simultaneously, engage threats at longer ranges, and operate effectively in environments saturated with electronic countermeasures. Complementing the radar is an integrated electronic warfare EU suite, designed to detect, jam, and deceive enemy radar and missile systems, providing a critical edge in electronic warfare scenarios where control of the electromagnetic spectrum often dictates the outcome of engagements. Beyond the radar and EU systems, the Tejas Mk-2 also incorporates an advanced infrared search and track IRST, system. This passive sensor allows the aircraft to detect and track enemy aircraft based on their heat signatures without emitting detectable signals of its own, a vital capability for stealthy operations and close-range engagements where radar use might be impractical or undesirable. 
From a pilot's perspective, the cockpit of the MK2 represents a quantum leap in ergonomics and situational awareness. Featuring a wide-area multi-function display, touchscreen interfaces, and voice command functionality, the cockpit reduces pilot workload while maximizing mission effectiveness. A modern helmet-mounted display system, HMDS, allows pilots to cue weapons and sensors simply by looking at a target, vastly improving reaction times in combat. In high-stress air combat situations, where seconds can mean the difference between survival and defeat, this kind of interface technology is invaluable. Payload flexibility is another standout feature of the Tejas MK2. With 11 hardpoints compared to the MK1's 8, the MK2 can carry a more diverse and heavier loadout of weapons. This includes a range of air-to-air -air missiles, such as the indigenous Astra Beyond Visual Range BVR missile, which gives the Tejas MK2 the ability to engage enemy aircraft well outside visual range. The aircraft is also compatible with a variety of precision-guided munitions for ground attack roles, including laser-guided bombs, cluster munitions, and anti-ship missiles. Importantly, it retains the versatility to carry both Indian-made and foreign-origin weaponry, providing operational flexibility depending on mission requirements and geopolitical considerations. Stealth characteristics, while not at fifth-generation fighter levels, have been carefully considered in the MK-2's design. The use of radar-absorbent materials in critical areas, the modified air intake, and the careful shaping of the fuselage contribute to a reduced radar cross-section compared to earlier Tejas models. This makes it harder for enemy radars to detect and track the MK-2, especially at medium to long ranges, enhancing its survivability in contested airspace. Another critical aspect where the MK-2 shines is its maintainability and operational readiness. HAL has placed a strong emphasis on reducing maintenance turnaround times and increasing the aircraft's availability rates. This is achieved through modular component design, enhanced diagnostic systems, and easier access to critical subsystems. For air forces operating in high-tempo environments, where rapid sortie generation can dictate the course of a conflict, this focus on readiness is a major operational advantage. The Tejas MK-2's design also anticipates future upgrades and mission requirements. Its open architecture avionics allow for relatively straightforward integration of new sensors, weapons, and software updates without requiring extensive redesigns. This future proofing is vital in an era where technological advancements in areas like artificial intelligence, networked warfare, and unmanned teaming are progressing at a breakneck pace. Speaking of unmanned teaming, HAL has hinted at the MK-2's potential to operate in conjunction with loyal wingman-type drones in the future. These unmanned systems could extend the aircraft's sensor range, perform high-risk reconnaissance, or even engage enemy targets under the direction of a manned MK-2, significantly expanding its tactical flexibility without exposing pilots to undue danger. Operationally, the Tejas MK-2 is expected to play a pivotal role in the Indian Air Force's modernization strategy. With plans to induct over 100 units initially, the MK-2 will gradually replace aging fleets of MiG-29s, Mirage 2000s, and Jaguar strike aircraft, many of which have served for decades and are becoming increasingly expensive to maintain. The MK-2's combination of speed, agility, advanced avionics, and multirole versatility makes it well-suited to the diverse operational scenarios faced by the Indian Air Force, from defending high-altitude borders to conducting maritime strike missions over the Indian Ocean. In the broader international context, the Tejas MK-2 also positions India as a more credible player in the global fighter aircraft market. While export prospects for the original MK-1 variant faced challenges due to limitations in payload and range, the MK-2's enhanced capabilities make it a more attractive option for countries seeking a modern, cost-effective multirole fighter without the political strings often attached to Western or Russian platforms. Countries in Southeast Asia, Africa, and Latin America with limited defense budgets but pressing air defense needs could find the MK-2 a compelling choice. But perhaps the most significant aspect of the Tejas MK-2 program lies in its symbolism. In a world where indigenous defense manufacturing is often a barometer of national technological prowess and strategic autonomy, the MK-2 represents a tangible step forward for India.
It showcases not just the capability of HAL but also the broader Indian aerospace industry, which has contributed components, subsystems, and technological expertise to the project. The journey to the MK2 has not been without its hurdles. Delays, budget overruns, and technological challenges have periodically plagued the LCA program since its inception. However, the very fact that the program has not only endured but evolved speaks to a growing maturity within India's defense research and manufacturing sectors. The lessons learned from the MK1 and MK1A variants have been carefully integrated into the MK2's design, resulting in a fighter that promises to be more competitive, reliable, and operationally effective. In conclusion, the 2025 HAL Tejas MK2 is more than just a successor to the earlier Tejas variants. It's a statement of intent, a platform that blends advanced aerodynamics, powerful propulsion, state-of-the-art avionics, and multirole versatility into a sleek, capable package. Its design philosophy balances high-end performance with affordability and maintainability, making it suitable not just for India's strategic needs but also for potential allies and partners around the world.